Hi everyone. Please ping in the section uh, in the comments if you can see me and hear me properly. Hi, Shayan. Great, great. So you guys can hear me. That's great. Okay. Hi, Tejasvi. All right. Hi, Kiran. Okay. Yes. So why devastated is the question, first question, right? Um, so nothing specific agenda as such. Um, I just wanted to share a few things and why I sort of decided to come online and share a few of the details with you guys. Now, I'll divide this whole live session into four different parts. Um, the first one is about message to all the freshers and students. Second section will be message to the teachers and the influencers, so-called influ influencers in the software testing community. And then the third message will be for the IT recruiters and the IT companies to think about a little bit differently when recruiting. So, and fourth section is about all of you asking questions uh, and what your thoughts are, what I'm going to share today. Okay. So why I wanted to discuss a few things. Now, I know there have been a couple of videos around um, flowing Around and, and I got to know basically yesterday that how to manage in a company with a fake experience, right? And that sort of that that video kind of popped up. And when I started searching the fake experience, because I work very closely with YouTube, I, I keep posting the videos. So I was not purposely looking for any of the specific videos, but then because I'm on the YouTube most of the time preparing the videos, releases of the videos and courses. So I, this video caught my attention because of the thumbnail, because of, and I'm not going to point anyone here. There are many videos which talk about how to manage in a company with a fake experience. And I thought it might be something not absolutely in a serious note, but actually it was a serious note, like go ahead, add these many years of fake experience and then how you can basically justify that fake experience doing the job, right? So this is something which I wanted to, you know, discuss and give a message to students that these type of things that are going around are not going to help you in a long term. And this is truly kind of doing, a, if, if you're faking something, right, and getting somewhere, it's it's kind of fraud, right? There is, there is no difference as such. So that's the first and foremost thing, right? And now I, I forgot to uh, greet you all that uh, happy Vijay Dashmi um and happy dashera uh, today is a very auspicious day as well uh and and the whole point of today's day day is that we we as indians right now my audience is all across the world but i'm an indian um and as an indian we should not forget that the culture the the way we are brought up basically our ethics should not be questioned. And if we promote these sort of things that go ahead, do the fake experience, there are companies which which offer. I'm not showing, I'm not saying that there is 100%, you know, white world out there. Okay, there will be people who will be doing wrong things. But then should we go ahead and start doing the same thing all across? And 
promote the same thing, being a teacher, being an influencer, are we setting up the right message for the freshers and students and for the people who have been there in the industry who have done such a hard work to basically did all the hard work and then went into the uh, industry into the software testing have been there it's kind of a question mark on all of those people who have done the real hard work and have reached to the heights where they are at the moment right without faking anything but just with the hard work you you should be reaching there right so this is this is something which which is kind of very serious and when teachers talk about when influencers on YouTube talk about these sort of things, especially in the software testing space, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about all other spaces. This bothers me because being a teacher, being a person who has been in the industry for almost 20 years, and I am not ashamed that I started with very small from the tech support background, from the customer support background, right? Being an engineering graduate, I did a hard work. I went into a customer support role. I worked there for a year, year and a half. You can still go ahead, browse my LinkedIn profile. You'll get that experience there. From there, I switched to another company. From there, I moved to testing in one and a half year almost. Right? It took me a while to get the first job of the technical support, the customer support. And then from there, to move to the testing, it took me a while. Right. I spent almost one and a half years to make that move. After that, I'd studied a lot around testing, ISTQB and all of that. So there was a hard work and persistence involved. And when we see these kind of videos flowing around, wherein people say, go ahead, put the fake experience. I mean, then everyone would have just go ahead, gone ahead and done it. It's kind of raising that credibility question on me as the person of the software testing field that, yes, people, it's OK, pe people do it. And uh, most of the people and because this video is coming from our Indian background person. So it's a question mark to all Indians who are working abroad. Now, you don't see it as a video that is there on the YouTube that will be just watched within your country. It's kind of setting the wrong, um, wrong basically, in, in terms of like how the, how the world is going to perceive Indians overall in terms of, say, for example, I, I am here in Australia. There are so many people here in Australia, US and other countries. Now, with these sort of things, flowing around fake experience thing, the recruiters will go ahead and they'll see, yeah, most of the people, I mean, this is kind of common thing that uh, people put fake experience. So that's where the experience that you are getting from India is kind of discounted, right? And that's the reason that if you start, I mean, till till now, it's it's okay. You know, you, you go ahead, you do it, you, you do it yourself. But at least do not misguide the freshers, the people, the, the kids or uh, the students who are coming out of the college. They are just starting their career. And if they start doing something wrong now, it's a kind of a big uh, setback for them in their career. If tomorrow they want to move abroad, OK, it's a big setback if these things get noticed you are not going to succeed at all right you are not going to succeed or you you are not going to go or reach to the level where you want to reach so this is this is the kind of thing i was really really upset seeing this from the testing community and especially making a complete sort of roadmap you can pay to the organization and i i am surprised there are organizations who can even arrange uh, the pay slips, you know, that that's amazing, you know, uh, and, and people support it, influencers support it. So that's, that's the only message that I wanted to share. And my message to the students who follow me and follow my channel, 
I can make all sort of those videos as well, right? That can misguide the whole community. Okay. They will fetch me a lot more views, a lot more dollars. Okay. Now people do it to get that, you know, traction, uh, those thumbnails. But in the testing, this is the real bread and butter for the testing community for software testers, right? So this doesn't, this shouldn't be done this way that you misguide the, the students to basically start doing wrong things and doing fake experience and then justifying that, right? The right way is to succeed. The only right way to succeed is the hard work, your persistence, right? And there is nothing that can stop you. You don't need to fake anything that so that you can become a successful person, right? And we we have Sanjay here. So hello, hello, Sanjay, uh, founder of Selectors Hub. Now, if I talk about Sanjay, I, I, I have known Sanjay for the past two years when Sanjay reached out for the Selectors Hub to me. And if you see Sanjay's journey, did Sanjay fake anything? N not at all, right? I mean, people who become real successful person, they do not fake stuff, okay? So do not go ahead. This is my advice to you as a student. Initially, you might find a bit of challenge, but then over the period of time, you will thank me that yes, faking is not good. Be yourself. Believe on God, believe on your learning, your capabilities, and be persistent. You will reach heights absolutely fine. There is nothing that can stop you. Neither your tier three, tier four college. My college is not nowhere. It's it's I, I think it's it might be tier three or something. Okay. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're not from IIT. It doesn't matter. You're not from IM. It's just your capability, your capacity to put effort that will make you successful, right? So no faking. It's my message. You want to learn, keep learning and things will fall along. Now, my message to teachers and influencers, so-called influencers. So basically, I mean, it's a request um, to not to promote anything that can be really harmful for the students and fresh graduates in the long term, right? You will give your message and then you will walk away with with your, um, you know, uh, earnings and whatever you want to achieve. I don't know, but it's a it's a devastating situation for the students in the long term, right? Even if they get into the industry with the fake experience, then eventually they'll face a lot of difficulties, right? So it's not, I mean, I my request is please do not misguide students, right? Just for the sake of getting views and traction for your YouTube channel. Now, my message to IT recruiters and companies. Now, there is a, a very high correlation between faking and the way companies hire, okay? So I have seen advertisements coming for the IT job, we need experienced people. I mean, start recruiting the people based on their skill set, not the number of years of the experience. Even if a person is a fresher, give them a chance, right? Be open to have that discussion. It is going to change the overall, all, uh, overall workspace um, you know, dynamics when people with knowledge, even though they are fresher, will be given chance. So it's from the recruiters and the companies. This can be also stopped as well, right? So faking is not necessary if recruiters and companies start doing a little bit hiring in a little bit different way. OK, now the last message is around. Why not to fake, right? So. There are many ways wherein you can. So basically, I train as well, right? So I train and I take live classes and my, I, my students put that experience as well, which wherein they have this trainee test analyst experience, they can show it. But that is not faking. It's basically I can vouch for them that they have been trained 
from me and they will be good enough they are trained and they will be good enough to do the software testing work that you are looking for from a fresh fresher or a one to two years experienced person okay so instead of doing the wrong things get an institute which actually provides you the better training along with that they provide you the option to put the name of the institute as a trainee experience in their resume in your resume and that's the only thing you have to do right i mean there are companies that will yes you because you are trained and you you are already doing a traineeship experience you will be able to you will be able to crack interviews you will be given chance to appear in the interviews right so that's the way you should target it rather than okay i have i am a fresher but i'll go ahead and put a fake experience of 3 years and then go ahead with the interview okay that's not the right way i totally oppose it i mean i am not i am not with it i am against it i am not very happy i am kind of i was in very bad shape yesterday so yes uh, this is this is a brief live um, that that i wanted to share with you all um and uh, stay away from all of these gimmicks that flow around on the youtube if you are on the youtube stick to the learning right gimmicks will be there all of the places if you want to watch gimmicks go ahead watch you know some some entertainment channel uh, if you are lo looking for testing content i would highly recommend uh, look for some you know serious uh, people who have gone through that particular cycle and who have achieved based on their efforts okay so that's pretty much it that's the message from me guys um i'm open to any questions and what are your thoughts Happy Dasera, um, Selector Sir, and Sanjay. Happy Dasera, Mati. Okay, if there are no questions, then uh, we can disconnect. But if you have any questions around. testing career and uh, i'm i'm also thinking to make some series or videos around the interviews and the career related questions to clarify the the things basically that that are there in the doubt so i i keep producing the tutorials but yes i think i need to start working on that space as well so that a uh, little bit information flows from my end in terms of interviews as well okay so there is a question from uh, thrupti so want to ask one question how to get call as a fresher if we have a career gap and want to switch non it to it and how to get good package all right so two questions there so as a fresher how to and if, as a fresher and then there is a career gap all right and how to switch from it to non it answer to all of this is same basically the first question if you are a fresher you have a career gap from non it to it as i mentioned go ahead with the institute that provides you a better sort of training in terms of learning software testing and software testing is not just about selenium and java okay or just learning the fundamentals of testing it's a complete package when you get into the project right you apply all the fundamentals of testing to design your test cases to analyze the requirement you need to you need understanding of the user stories you need under, understanding of the scrum agile right 
how things are being or how software testing life cycle fits into the overall development landscape currently in the current market situation. So you need to understand all of this. It is not about tell me the difference between unit testing and integration testing, right? These sort of questions will be asked, but testing is not just about knowing these differences. Testing is about you will be going and applying these practices and principles um, in designing the test cases, then how you are going to execute those test cases, which are the tools you should know in order to manage these, uh, the whole testing artifacts, then the defects and all of that, right? So get an institute which, which, which can help you to understand that holistic life cycle along with the automation say if, if they are providing automation uh, ui automation learn a little bit around that api automation learn a little bit around that and then you are well equipped to venture into the testing industry okay so it doesn't matter you are fresher with a career gap or from non-it to it if you get the right course and then your organization or your training provider agrees to provide you the experience or trainee experience in your resume that's all you need okay that's all you need and even though there are, there will be a gap you just need to find out the one place which will give you an opportunity okay so if mncs are not giving you an opportunity go ahead and figure out the smaller organizations you just need one two years experience in your resume if you get option anywhere, take it. Do not worry about good package from day one. Okay. Now, many people think, oh, my overall expense is like 25,000 every month and I am getting 10,000. What would I do? Right. Go ahead and take that 10,000. It's not about that 10,000 or 8,000 initially upfront. Think about the long term when you will have a, when you will reach the experience of five years, this 10,000 will become two lakhs every month. OK, so think about that long term perspective because you can compensate all of that, even though you are working in 10,000 for one year, eventually you will reach at the same place over the period of time. OK, so do not think about good package upfront. Think about the experience up front and then rest will follow along. Okay. Um, then there is another question, something on similar note. Hem Shankar, uh, can I start now after 11 years of gap? Absolutely, you can start. But yes, you, you have the 11 years gap. So you have to follow similar strategy. Go ahead. Enroll in the course that can provide you good training and the experience traineeship experience that you can put in your in your resume that will be counted as an experience and then go ahead and apply for the jobs based on that traineeship and the experience okay so that will basically help you and this gap of the career is not absolute it, it's not something which is uh, which is very concerning people who want to get into the industry back they will definitely go ahead and get back. Now, MNCs have this um, drive already wherein they want to hire people who have this gap. So, for example, uh, especially women in tech, right? So, uh, because, see, for us as, as you know, uh, boys, it's not as challenging as the girls face in their life. Once, once they are married, they have kids, it's an obvious sort of thing that there will be gap and industries have started recognizing it and they have started giving opportunities to, to the girls, especially um, uh, women in the uh, even after the gap. And this is not just for women. This is for everyone. It doesn't matter if you have gap, if you have the right set of skills, you may be starting from beginning as an initial uh, as a fresher or a one to two years experienced person, depending on how much knowledge you have gathered, you they will place you in those sort of projects. And then over the period of time, you will eventually be absolutely fine. Then uh, the question is, 
can you mention about path of learning testing which program we must uh, to learn and uh, and which test okay uh, the last part is not clear clear but yes so program as i mentioned uh, i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right apologies Hussein. um the the first and foremost thing is basically applied testing right it's not just about getting the fundamentals clear differences and uh, all the definitions that is important but then how things are applied in the current scenario in scrum in agile that's important and then along with that anything that is required for example a little bit of linux okay then the sql knowledge okay and then ui automation and api automation okay so there are a couple of things and i have already created a complete video on the roadmap so maybe i'll i'll post uh, it in the comment section of this live video so that will give you a, a overall idea what all you need to learn and the complete roadmap okay the next question is from sagar uh, i'm a fresher uh, and skills required so sagar similar thing i'll post a video so basically in terms of skill on a high level software testing fundamentals applied software testing scrum and agile fundamentals okay jira confluence currently you can't uh, basically it, it's it's a must to have that sort of skill jira and confluence how to use and it's very basic all of these videos and tutorials are there available on the channel for free so i'll post that video which will guide you to what all um, in what sequence you need to learn or start watching those um, courses to build all of those skills as a fresher okay um, another question is from sana please guide about the requirements so uh, i'm not clear about uh, this sana can you please clarify what exactly you mean when you say guide about the requirements okay um another question is can you please tell me the permanent remote opportunity uh, so to be very frank uh, i haven't uh, explored much around the permanent uh, remote opportunity but if you just browse through the current job market there are many remote opportunities available okay after covid especially there are many jobs that are available which require people you work from anywhere okay so if you just go and browse around the job sites and filter based on the remote opportunity you will get a lot of jobs being displayed there okay so just just uh, get help from the job websites and you will get the uh, remote opportunities to work remotely and most of the people are working remotely anyways so i i work remote sort of full time now so it's it's kind of a new normal that you will definitely go ahead and get remote opportunity right it's it's very normal now so okay sanab that means uh, job requirements okay so job requirements based on my experience in the industry okay almost 20 years two decades and based on that i have come across what all a fresher a person with a gap okay or a person from non it to it needs to learn and that is good enough because i know i have done i have worked in so many different domains first thing and all of that all of different domains is is in testing right so banking um, education uh, there is a you know telecom a lot of other uh, domains 
involved. Now, everywhere that you go in testing, you will need similar sort of skill set, which is the core skill set. Okay, core skill set is not going to change. There will be new additions that you have to keep building. Okay, so for example, new tool comes in, you have to keep building those skills. If you stop learning, you are out of the market anyways. Okay, but the core skills that are needed won't change. It doesn't matter which domain you are working with. Okay, but then there is a domain specific knowledge, which is, for example, if you're working, working in bank, you will need a domain specific knowledge. But you do not need to worry about any domain specific knowledge upfront. You will get that knowledge transfer. You will get that training once you are hired and once you are in the in in the company in that particular project. OK, so in terms of job requirements, you basically need um, the skill set first and then requirements will de depend on the domain it it might be a little specific about the domain but the core skills that you will learn in testing will be applicable for any software testing job requirement that will be advertised okay they will ask for basic you know your uh, software testing fundamental skills how you are going to design the test cases whether you are able to understand the user stories requirement what is your analytical thinking right do you know apis and api testing at least manually do you know that know it which is very easy to learn it's not absolute rocket science do you know a little bit about ui automation okay now there are there are complex tools there are simple tools so go ahead with the simple tools if you think that java is too hard for me go ahead with python selenium with python okay so that will cover all of the things that are being looked for the software testing job requirement okay all right, uh, Hem Shankar, uh, sir, when will you return uh, uh, India? Okay, uh, very good question. So it has been long here um, in Australia and I definitely want to come back. And uh, I, I wish I, I sh I'm back in India very soon uh, because uh, I, I really want to come back home. Uh, I'm kind of a little homesick person as well. So it's really difficult for me. Um, it, it has been 10 years almost. It will be 10 years next year. So uh, I definitely want to come back soon. And once I'm back in India, I, I will be uh, sort of a lot more dedicated because I'll be kind of fully working on the courses, um, helping you all in learning new stuff, making your career journey in India and abroad, right? So at the moment, I have limited time. I do full time job and whatever time is left, I work on the courses and YouTube. So once I'm back, um, you, you will you will uh, get a lot more information from me on a more regular basis, a lot more courses freely available. There will be paid courses, but there will be um, many free courses which will be very frequent. OK, um, the next question is I want to run from Ravi. So I want to run same test in different URL with different login detail. Can we achieve this using the Bitbucket job? OK, so um, Ravi, this is uh, this this forum is not to discuss any of the technical stuff. This is more of a career. OK, so we can take up this question when whenever we have some technical discussions going on. All right. Uh, OK, Chakur, because of recession, is there any effect on testing jobs? Obviously, yes, absolutely. So if there is a recession, there is it's not only in testing, it will be across the industry. OK, so recession will affect the the hiring. OK, so there might be hiring freeze and uh, new jobs might not be advertised very frequently but do you need to worry about or you do do you need to worry about the things that you do not have control on do you have control on recession you don't have right so what do you have control on the control that you have is okay recession will be there and i have seen you know i think three recessions till now and in none of the recessions i have been out of the market i have been in the industry um, I have 
changed so many different jobs. Um, so overall, if, if I talk about the 20 years journey, so on and off, I have switched so many companies. So does this, that recession that happened uh, affected me personally? Absolutely not. But then, yes, many people have been affected. But then they again came back. After one or two months, they got back. So it hardly matters because you do not have control on recession. You have control on your learning, right? So I know people who have been, say, for example, laid off. Okay. What they did, they just utilized that time in learning. Okay. They have got full time. They just enjoyed that time. They learned new stuff. And whenever jobs were in the market, they, they came back. Okay. So don't worry about it at all. This is the market phenomena it is it, it's it's not always going to be green okay so green and red will be there always so it's a market phenomena be prepared for it the only thing you can do is focus on your stuff focus on your game okay um So, Amit, uh, what should we cover or focus on to crack Kiwi testing interviews? So, Amit, uh, it's kind of similar uh, answer. I will uh, post a video in this comment section of this particular uh, live, uh, which will give you a fair bit of idea to what, what to learn and in what sequence that will give you a good understanding of the testing skills and that will be you know uh, good enough for cracking the QA testing interviews okay uh, so when are uh, when the vacancies are increasing so uh, i i am not the economist uh, i'm sorry about that but uh, i i don't know when uh, this uh, this whole thing will uh, recover uh, i i don't i don't think it is so bad that people are portraying it at the moment right because everyone is having job. Um, I, I don't see that uh, there is so much noise across the uh, the media because usually when there will be recession and people will be laid off, media will be the first uh, one to make it, you know, public that this has happened in this company. This has happened this com in this company. So do not focus too much about those. Um, youtubers and and influencers so so yes i mean there is a little slowdown there is a recession but even in in one of my short video i posted about recession that focus on your stuff on your learning okay and vacancies will go down when there is a little slowdown or recession if you say which is currently a lit it's a little it's very minor uh, and then eventually they'll increase OK, so it doesn't uh, doesn't go for, you know, years. It's just six, eight months. Things things are different. OK, um, so I think that's pretty much it. If there are uh, no questions, let's wrap up. OK, there is there is one more question. Uh, Chakur, actually, I have three years of experience and I have completed my notice period also, but yet I don't get call from a remote opportunity. OK, um, so I'm not sure uh, if, you, if you have um, already got uh, got the opportunity, remote job opportunity. So I, I would uh, so maybe Chakor, what you can do is you can drop me an email with with your complete uh, sort of situation questions and what sort of remote opportunity you are looking for. OK, or if you have already got a remote opportunity and you are not hearing, then then I might uh, go ahead and reply you over an email. OK, so the email is admin at software testing mentor dot com. So you can drop me an email on that. Okay, so Nero, what is the day-to-day -day life of an automation tester in the office like? Okay, 
So this is uh, this is very interesting question. Yes, I mean the segregation between automation tester and manual tester, right? Now, personally, I I haven't seen that segregation. Okay. Uh, somehow things are so funny in the industry uh, and and few people think that if you are writing complex code you are good and if you're not then you are you are not you know um, capable enough these sort of are misconceptions especially in testing space uh, and and especially that as that an automation i'm an automation tester and i don't do manual testing or i don't that that's absolutely um not what you will be doing as an auto it doesn't matter your automation tester okay now currently how things work in the industry is companies and projects need the automation skills but that doesn't mean that you don't have any testing skills okay if you are just converting the manual script or, or the manual steps into the automation code you are not tester right you can you don't need to put the tester against automation there the first thing that i don't agree with right automation tester you are not a tester it doesn't matter what you you are not a tester uh, if you do not know how to test how what scenarios you need to come for right so you are a good automation tester if you know testing first place now the day to day life of an automation tester now within the project you might be given a responsibility which is more inclined toward automation and then less towards the manual steps but that that doesn't mean that you won't be doing any of the um, any of the test case designing because you need to design the test first you need to know how you are going to test only then you are going to convert that to automation script right if you only know the complex fundamentals of java and python will it go is it going to help in designing your test cases it's not now in in, in day to day life of a tester i would say just a tester okay let's not segregate into manual and automation tester there is a very thin line now um so for the tester it's more of if if you are following the scrum okay so two to four weeks uh, iterations now once say for example sprint planning has happened it's more of collaboration within the team so tester is going to collaborate uh, say for example it's day one of your sprint so as a tester you will be working with the business analyst product owner you will be understand you will be reading the requirement okay then you will be coming up with the scenarios or test scenarios and then elaborating them into steps depending on what sort of uh, level of documentation a project requires then you will be providing that feedback now when we say collaborative working it, now testing is not about just going ahead and you know finding defects okay or finding uh, mistakes in in developers work testing is about improving the overall product quality so you will go ahead and provide your feedback work together that these are the scenarios that uh, i have written for the for this particular functionality and that goes an input as an input to the developer developers factors for those in so when developer factors for those scenarios edge cases that you have written as a test case you will collaborate you will provide that feedback um, and then developer will go ahead yes uh, they'll factor in the, those scenarios in their code and that way it will be less sort of defects flowing to the end phase wherein the build is actually available so in a day in in just one day if i talk about the uh, in in the initial phases the job of the tester is to work collaboratively uh, collaboratively and uh, design the scenarios share it with the team get the uh, talk to the bas if there are any doubts uh, talk to product owner so a lot of communication documentation of the uh, test cases then um, preparing uh, any sort of plan of execution that is required in that particular sprint right so all of these are day-to-day -day activities then as you progress further in the in the sprint executing those test cases right so actually testing it that whatever feature is being built 
that is actually working as expected. All right. So these are some of the day-to-day uh, -day activities that testers follow or, or uh, a day-to-day -day activity for the testers. Now, if you're doing sort of automation, then yes, apart from these scenarios that you have written, you will go ahead and say, for example, you are doing the API testing, right? Or you are using Postman for API testing. So you will go ahead and convert these scenarios that you have written into the automation scripts. Okay. You will write a script for that in Postman. Then you will check that in into the um, uh, Git or Bitbucket, whichever uh, repository you, you, you are maintaining. If you are having the continuous integration, say, for example, Jenkins, then you might be required to set up a job as well. Right. But that is sort of one time activity or it, if it's already there, you might be executing those test cases. OK, once the build is available. So these are some of the day to day activities that might be uh, that that are usually followed. OK. OK, I think uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so thank you very much. And uh, yes, um, on, on the last note, message to students, believe on yourself and take the right path. Don't fake, don't fake it. Um, it's, it's not required. You, if you're persistent, you follow the right path, you will land up in so many good places, right? So personally, being from, year three college i didn't knew that i'll be i'll be even getting my first job right so i got the job i moved to so many different organizations i moved to ibm i worked in so many different mncs as well so moved to ibm from ibm moved to australia without any on-site support okay so i i didn't came to australia as an on-site person that's another sort of challenge that people say that it's not possible it is possible right you need to take calculated risk so after having eight eight and a half years experience after i left uh, after when i was in ibm i thought i'll go ahead and i'll explore the world okay and it took me one and a half year to get all of the visa and everything processed and the visa that i processed was uh, the permanent residency visa so Whenever you are moving, if you are on the permanent residency visa of any country, there are many countries that offer Canada is one, Australia is one, New Zealand. If you have taken the right path in your career, you haven't faked, right? Because all of these background checks happen. You, you can't escape this. So if you fake now, you are, if there is an, if there is say for example, five, 10 years down the line, you want to move abroad. Okay countries do a rigorous background check and they will get to know where you are coming from and once they get to know they are not going to grant any of the visa to you so if i'm not sure if everyone would want to go abroad but then if you want to go then this will be a complete barrier and you will be kind of blocked because you have faked you have done fraud it is not um, authentic so you won't be given any sort of visa okay so then you have to then you will regret whatever you you will be going ahead uh, in, in terms of faking okay so that's the the last note um i'll take the last question this is something if you don't fake it how do you get job without experience i didn't fake it uh, Nero, so I didn't fake it. I got a job without experience. So how would I mean, this is just just think about it, right? It's kind of do you think every person that comes out of college has the experience? So if this is the thing that is going in the market that you need to fake it to get a job, then that's absolutely wrong, right? I mean, as a fresher, companies do hire if you have a gap, you do the right sort of course, show the experience or the training experience, traineeship experience of the course providing organization, get them, talk to them, agree with them, and they'll provide you the experience. Okay.
the traineeship experience th there will be teachers who will guide you okay and then whichever experience so for example you got a six months one year traineeship experience right or say for example your your course ran for three to four months and then uh, during that duration you put that experience and after that duration while you are getting support from that organization in learning the stuff you put all of that as an experience right it's not faking you are actually showing that yes you have done training from this organization and from this organization you are getting a traineeship experience right faking is the thing wherein you completely put three years i have worked in this company all right so don't do that because traineeship experience is absolutely fine you put it you show those uh, those certificates you there will be someone in the training organization that will vouch for you so follow that path okay you don't need to fake it all right this is wrong thing going in the market um it's it's not good you know it's it's misguiding uh, students okay uh sagar uh, so 2019 pass out i have done the course so sagar uh, on the same note did you so from wherever you did this software testing course okay did you ask them to put their uh, organization the training organization that you have got trained from them and then you are having a traineeship experience from them that's the only way basically to go ahead and put the experience the traineeship experience from that organization and then ask someone from the organization to vouch for you okay that yes this is the guy i i have trained from this from my organization and i can vouch that yes this person knows the basics and will be able to perform testing well because that's the only way if you have gap okay that's the only you know um, uh, that's the that's the path that you should be taking all right so that way go ahead talk to them put that experience the traineeship experience and then start applying you should be uh, getting calls absolutely you'll be getting calls okay so i think we are uh, over 50 minutes now so um, thank you very much everyone uh, uh, i thought this is important to convey this message uh, especially in the long run i i want to whosoever watches this video who is watching this video now and later whosoever will watch this video at least you will get the information that faking is not good not required it is not just spoiling uh, going to spoil your future but it's a very bad message and impression on the testers on the teachers community okay it's basically i feel ashamed that i i'm kind of you know it's it's like a, a teacher who 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 is the builder of the nation right i mean if i'm teaching my intent is to give you the best possible advice that i can and stop you from doing the wrongdoing if i start misguiding you then i should stop teaching basically right so it's just a message to the teachers basically to whosoever uh, is is doing this sort of stuff uh, it's 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 not good from for students and for the teacher community and uh, it's not good for so many people across the world as an indian it's a very bad impression. So please think twice before you go ahead and post these sort of misguiding and fraud sort of videos. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, absolute pleasure to have you all. And uh, stay tuned. There will be a lot more knowledge, I would say, knowledge coming on my channel, uh, whether it's in terms of interview videos, in terms of migrating to a different country, what you actually need and what struggles you will face, right? It's not a bed of roses. So I, if I provide bed of roses, uh, everyone will, you know, be happy. But it will be the right information. So 
that that's the only thing i can assure you best possible information from my experience i can i, I can assure you that okay thank you guys uh, and have a nice day happy the sarah great to see you all